Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to learn how to create a section perspective and we'll give you some tricks to how to efficiently do one. So we're going to create a guideline and that guideline will dictate where our section will be. So we'll select everything but the guideline, type in cut plane and follow the guideline from starting point to end point. Right click to get out of the cut plane and then we'll type in split. We're going to split the building in half according to the cut plane. So the cutting object is the cut plane. Hit enter space. And it's going to go through each object and it's going to cut um, the object relating, relating to the cut plane. If it says split fail, that means there are certain objects that didn't get cut, but that's okay because it didn't intersect the cut plane. So from here, what we can do is before you deselect, just type in cap and it'll cap all the um, all the geometry that has been split because when you split it it won't cap it'll just split the object in half so from now from here we can select everything that we don't want so I'll take that and delete it and now to get this to ne for now what we'll do is um, we'll change the viewport viewport properties in perspective so type in viewport properties and everything here we can keep the same. If you want to do an isometric or axometric, we can click parallel. And if we click OK, now you can see that it's an axo or, or iso. So we'll go back there and we're going to click perspective. And then in the lens length, we're going to pick 25, which will give us a more exaggerated perspective, a realistic camera length. So from here, I need to get out. What we'll do is first we'll select everything. We'll type in section, and we'll follow the the cut plane. So it gives us our section. We'll get out of the section. So now we're gonna pick a view, and we're gonna save the view. So right click on perspective, go down to set view, go down to name views, and click on save, and we're just going to name it perspective01, press close, and then from here we can type in make 2D, it will ask us to, and I don't want hidden lines, so I'll press OK, so we'll go to top view, and we'll move that out of the way. and then we'll select everything again make sure your guideline is not selected or the cut plane and then since it's in perspective 01 we want to make sure we have the same view as the section so right click on perspective go to set view and click perspective 01 again and then type in make 2d So there's the section perspective. So when you export this to Illustrator, you have the section perspective, and then to have you have what you cut through, so you can poche. Usually, it's not in the same um, proportions, so make sure you group them in Rhino. And then you want to scale it. So we're gonna move it to where we we know that's being cut, and then we're gonna type in scale, and we're just gonna scale the lines back together. So then now we know that they're the same scale so when we export to Illustrator we don't have to scale it in there and then from here we can export them into Illustrator and that's how you create a section perspective and thanks for watching